Hey there, Simmers. Thanks to the EA Creator Program, I get free access to The Sims 4 for Rent expansion pack. Here is everything you need to know about mold in The Sims 4. Mold is a lot challenge and can be added to every lot in The Sims through the build and buy mode. You just need to select the house icon and from there you will see unit traits and challenges section. Select the trophy icon and you will see the lot challenges. There you will be able to find the mold challenge. Without this, mold will not grow on your lots or units. To increase likelihood of mold, it helps to have a ton of puddles and dirty plumbing or overflowing trash. That being said, you can use BB Show Hidden Objects in the Build and Buy mode to find mold through the Build and Buy Debug mode. There are two types of mold, allergenic mold, which is obviously not toxic or deadly, toxic mold, which is deadly and ranges from mild to severe. There are three options in cleaning your mold. You can clean it with a sponge and some spray, or you can deploy a mold be gone bomb, which will eliminate all the mold in the entire room and cost about $7.50. Or you can destroy it by fire, but do be careful when you're doing this because if you don't let it burn for long enough, you will not destroy the mold. Let it burn for too long, you might destroy a lot more than just the mold. When your sim comes into contact with toxic mold, they will begin to feel dazed and uncomfortable. With more exposure and close proximity, they will begin to have a green mold aura around them and darkened limbs. Once they get closer to their moldenitis death, well, they will begin to vomit. Moldenitis will affect teens, adults, and elders the most, but it can affect children, just their symptoms will develop differently. I have not, though, seen any evidence of it affecting infants or toddlers. If your sim is kept in close proximity to toxic mold, they will eventually die by mold, and the speed can depend on how much mold or whether or not your sim leaves the house, as your sims feel way better when they are away from the mold. After your sim meets their untimely demise due to mold, they will become a mold ghost. And if you call forth that ghost, they will appear. And the mold ghost has the ability to spread mold throughout your home, your neighbor's home, or any of the units that you have. So do be careful. And that's everything you need to know about mold in The Sims 4. Thanks for watching. If you liked my video or had any questions, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.